Hello, I'm Matt Karakis, and uh, this is my van. It's the last day of tour in Chicago, so uh, let's check it out. So uh, we all split driving. We don't let Brett drive, which is our guitarist, because uh, he can't handle the responsibility. And uh, actually, my girlfriend Gabby plays bass, and she does all, all the really long drives willingly. I think it's a combination of her just like wanting to do it because she kind of likes driving, but also she gets super car sick super easy, you know? So um, when we're on like a 15 hour drive, she's just like, I'll take it. And she'll do the whole drive, usually in silence too. It's kind of weird, kind of crazy, you know? But yeah, we all split it pretty evenly and uh, there's no, uh, no coral, no coral. <laughs> uh, when I'm driving, I'll listen to music. I kind of like to drive in silence too, just because like, I feel like when I'm driving and I'm listening to music, I'm thinking like, oh, this song is three minutes long. Oh, this next song is four minutes. You know, or like, and it kind of makes the drive go by slower, as opposed to when I'm just like, out of it driving, it kind of goes by faster, you know? But um, Jake, our drummer, um, likes podcasts a lot. I know um, he does like the scary podcasts, you know, so um, I'm I'm all around, you know. I, I done I went through a podcast phase, and um, right now I'm in my silent phase. So pretty cool. So this is a uh, the front license plate in Ohio. You need to have one, but uh, I didn't mount it, so technically it's illegal. But I just threw it up there, just because if you get pulled over, you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it. You know, they usually let you go. This is a hotel parking pass. Another parking pass. We gotta throw these away. Gum, essential. Maybe I'll take one right now. Ooh, last piece. This is for your ass when you take a shit. <laughs> so, you know, if it has bad toilet paper or, you know, wet wipes, essential. So we got some chapstick here, guitar picks. I got my uh, workout shirt in my shorts. So, um, I don't know what's up here. Oh, here's a lock. We were having trouble with the generator box earlier. Here's the old lock. Um, tools, glass, glasses cleaner. Here's ties to tie these curtains when we drive. So yeah. So, th this is from the first day of tour. It's all really gross right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I thought I was getting a sore throat the first day of tour. So as we were leaving, I just made like a thing of throat coat and I was just drinking it and then I and my thought process was oh you know we're playing Cleveland going back home tonight playing Pontiac so I'll just bring it back inside after Cleveland I just forgot it and now it's fucking disgusting <laughs> but we got we got all this generator care shit right here and yeah welcome to the build out um I bought this is a cargo it's a Ford Transit cargo van high roof and I bought it completely gutted, and me and my brother did this. Um, I I pretty much did. I I like don't really like being on the road at all. You know, I hate it. I hate being in a van. I hate the long drives. So uh, my thought process was like, you know, how can I make it better? And you know, if you want to rent like a bandwagon or a bus, like it just gets expensive, you know. And you know, you could pay like three hundred or four hundred dollars a day to like rent a big rig but that's not including gas and whatever else I don't even know because I never did it so um, I, if I bought this van you know it's like a $300 a month payment instead of day you know I would just I feel like it's always better to own rather than to rent so that's how I've lived my life you know <laughs> just always going for it and uh, so yeah we um, we did all like Romex wiring all these all this shit works. The TV works. Under here, this is a generator box where the generator goes. Um, I, you know, the the front face of it is all open. You know how you just see how it's like a what is it called? Uh, fence, like chain linked or you know or something. So I thought it would be enough for airflow, right? And uh, so, but it's not because the back of the generator keeps overheating in this box. So um, I bought like an inline fan and um, some uh, ductwork and stuff, and I gotta—I'm gonna have to cut a hole in this box in the back 
run some duct work under here and then have another hole outside the van to you know blow fresh air so the way we've been getting around that is we just pull the generator out like we just did and put it outside the van so it doesn't overheat you know so that was a little hiccup that we weren't prepared for but you know I'm prepared now and we're gonna fix it now that tour is over okay so I mean I'm definitely the gamer um, we got Kingdom Hearts here I've been playing that um, I brought a handful of games Gabby loves to play Grand Theft Auto so we got that um, I got MKX downloaded onto the onto the PS4 which is you know my main game until MK11 comes out the betas the betas happening right now so when I get home I'm, I'm gonna play it um, I've been playing a game called Limbo which is like a side-scroller puzzle game it's super cool and um, yeah I guess I'm the most competitive you know just because I play the most so and I'm also the best at Mortal Kombat so it's like I'm just gonna kick your ass you know oh uh, we got seven people total so two up front five back here we put the seatbelts in um, because you know it's like half and half like it's not exactly half and half but I'm just gonna say it like 25 states don't require a seatbelt in the back 25 do you know and the main pro main thought process was when we crossed the border to like get into Canada and play shows like everybody's got to be buckled up you know because they're sometimes really sticklers about everything at the border so um, what we've been doing is these pull out you know these pull I'm not gonna pull them all the way out but these pull out this one does too and they touch and then we have a mattress pad that fits here so it creates like a big bed and on long drives everybody just lays down and I mean you can't lay down this way because you can't fit five people this way but you know if you're like this it's a lot more comfortable than being cooped up in a in a van or even like more comfortable than just sitting like this but it's not bad so yeah everybody just chills this is like Jacob Sigmund's spot my brother sits here a lot um, Jake Duhame sits right there Mike Wazalinko sits right there and Brett the wild child usually just sets up uh, we got blankets under here this is like the bedding department compartment and uh, he sets up a little bed and lays down right here and you know that's his thing we were like really having trouble with how to do this you know and um, my friend who drives for bandwagons I asked them I was like how's the electrical set up and they're like they just wire it like a house and um, you know me and my brother and my dad have done lots of remodeling things you know remodel like uh, flipping houses and stuff so we all know how to do that so we were just like oh okay and we you know we ran the Romex through the there's like little metal studs behind here and we ran the Romex through it we just wired up like a house behind this I we built this wall because you know you should see the back doors here so we built this wall and uh, we studded it out you know just like a normal house on the other side of it if you open the back doors there's a closet so you know Try to make everything as useful as possible. So this is the auxiliary. This was this was meant to be a laptop compartment, but everybody just put their food up there. It's the last day of tour, so there's no food up there. And I bought this yesterday. It's a little Godzilla coin thing. Um, right here is like I had a bunch of food up here initially. Uh, here's the paper plates. Smells like crap in here sometimes. You know, with seven people in here, it's gonna do that. So here's some. Uh, air freshener I bought this second day of tour I think never ate it so yeah, yeah. it's just auxiliary stuff um, here's my cover I organized it by putting everybody's uh, cartoon characters so here's Sly Cooper that's a, a game I really like to play and then we share so my brother's got Thor he took all of his shit out so this is all me here's some stuff I bought the other day which is pretty cool I got it's a, a Tenchu Wrath of Heaven strategy guide. Got a Guar comic. <laughs> um, Mortal Kombat strategy guides. I have a whole room at my house that's just Mortal Kombat stuff. So pretty much if, if I see like a vintage game store or anything, I'll I'll buy some stuff. And uh, oh, I got this Spawn action figure, which is was ten dollars. It's used. It's pretty cool. I've always wanted a Spawn action figure, but every time I see one, it's like. Thirty dollars or whatever. I'm just kind of like, ah, whatever. I'll get it. I'll get. I'll get it. I'll get it when the time is right. And 
now is the time. So, pretty cool. Got some emergency, it's a necessity. Got a hat, which I've been looking for. I'm gonna put that on. Um, yeah, so everybody's cartoon characters, they, they cleared it out. Jacob Sigmund's got Charlie Brown, which, come on. I like Charlie Brown, but everybody's got these like badass, badass characters and he picks Charlie Brown, like come on. Batman, badass. I forgot what this dude's name is, from Castlevania though. I'm not a big Castlevania guy, but I, I do like it. I watched the series on Netflix recently, it was really good, but that guy's not in it. That's like, I don't know. And also Pink Panther, not not that badass, but he's he's like kind of cool, you know? So I'm down. Gabby's got Katana from Mortal Kombat. This is her. She gets her own full thing because, you know, I don't know. I just figured I'd get, I figured she would have the most stuff. And also, if I need more room, she's my girlfriend, so I can just use her, use her space. <laughs> Pretty cool. Then we got compartments up here. Got some shampoo. Got a massager. Because things get tense. <laughs> Got some more games. Uh, got a little dirt or yeah, dirt devil vacuum. Some hand sanitizer. I'll take some of that right now. And then up here we had more food initially, but you know we just cleared things out because it's last day of tour. So we got the wet wipes and some trash bags. Um, microwave. Everything's functional. Pretty cool. Um, here's a, our little pantry. You know it was really stocked. Nothing in the freezer. I got some veggie chicken nuggets. Um, just a bunch of shit. Now it's you know it's pretty empty. Kind of smells a little bit. Um, I got these cool lights, these strip lights. But you know some of these strips went out, which kind of pisses me off because they were expensive. But I mean, there's enough light. And check this out. So you can you could dim them, and uh, you could change any color really which is pretty cool and then they also have this like 16 color thing you know it's pretty cool and then also if you don't want this strip lighting which why wouldn't you um well let me find i like this color i got a, these normal um recess recess lighting too up here pretty cool and then i got a this is the climate control like rooftop AC, I got a thermostat in here. So you just turn it on, zone one, 69 degrees. I got it on auto usually, so it will heat and cool accordingly. So you don't really have to touch it. It'll just, if it's too hot, it'll start cooling and pretty cool. And then also, this has been, you know, we didn't really use this as much as I thought we would because it's been totally fine. Um, this has been a lifesaver actually. This um vent fan is that what you call it Ooh, it's kind of dusty pull it up and um if you like crack a window open a little bit you just turn it on and it circulates air feels really good you know we usually um i'll get a ho so since we have seven people i'll get a hotel room every night with uh two queens our drummer jake likes to sleep on the floor anyway so he'll sleep on the floor in the hotel and then um two people each bed and then two people sleep out here and um, I kind of like sleeping out here the only thing I that I don't like obviously is not having a bathroom because I you know want to brush my teeth and take a shower sometimes I like you know if I if I feel hoarse in my voice or something I'll just like in the hotel just turn the water on and just sit there with it really hot and I kind of breathe in the steam for 10 minutes um, but you can't really do that out here, but you know, whatever. Uh, we installed these cup holders, which is pretty cool. Boom. We got four of them. So we got one right here. Got one right there. Um, one right there. Boom. And then one right there by your feet. So if you're sitting right here is a cup holder. Trash can fits perfectly right there. That was not intentional. We just, I was just kind of like, I almost thought we were going to have to like build our own trash can. But I went to Home Depot and I came with the measurements of this and I found this and I was like, oh my God, it's so perfect. So, got a subwoofer here. We didn't paint this, so it doesn't look that cool, but I kind of like, I was putting off the van for a while and um, 
then it came down to like, hey, we leave for tour next week. And I was like, fuck. So I'm just like, uh, I put the sound bar up. I'm like doing all this stuff. Gabby's painting a ton. And, you know, there's some things I didn't get finished, but I mean, you know, it's functional. So that's all that really matters, I guess. So this is the generator box we put in. It looks super shitty because I tried to like, I tried to liquid nail uh, these like recycled rubber mats up to it and it just fell off and liquid nail is really tough to get off things. So I was just like, whatever, looks like shit. Um, but yeah, we cut the whole, uh, my friend Jake is like a sheet metal guy. So he, you know, he was like the main brain behind this. Um, but yeah, he welded this up for me and we stuck it right in. And so this cord right here is the, um, goes to the circuit panel. Um, I have this, uh, this converter thing so I can plug this like RV plug. This RV plug will plug straight into that generator thing. But if, so if we like pull up to a venue and they, and the parking's good and they have an outlet we can plug into, I plug this in and I have this extension cable. I can literally plug and do like a three prong wall outlet and power this whole van without the generator being on, which is pretty cool. But like I said before, we're having a problem with uh, the generator um, overheating with it being in the box. You know, cause we got this and you think that would be enough airflow, it's not though. So whenever we want to use it, we'll, we'll get to the venue and just pull it out and turn it on and leave it on, it's all good. But I'm gonna put it back in here kind of heavy so you're gonna watch me in my brute strength slide it right in here so usually what we do is this just plugs straight into here boom functional you know shut this oh boom this locks a little messed up but Yep, and then we'll just throw the extension cable. Uh, I just messed it all up. But, <laughs> whatever, I I'll roll it up later. We usually throw the extension cable in the trailer, but for now, I'm just gonna throw it in there. So, uh, like I said, we built that wall um, to run the Romex through and uh, to like mount the TV and stuff. So, you might wanna step over here. On the other side of the wall is a closet. So, uh, I got four separate hooks. Um, yeah, just hang your clothes up. Gabby's got some clothes sitting down here. Some shoes. I, I kind of wanted to do like a little shoe rack in the middle here. But like I said, I procrastinated it too much and all like the cool little extra things. I mean, it's still cool, but all like the ideas I had floating around in my head, I didn't really do. So, but I mean, you know, it's never too late, I guess. But yeah, so this is the, the closet. Um, this is our, our guitarist Brett's dad's trailer. And there's nothing really cool about it. It's just a trailer that we throw our gear in, so I mean, we don't get, we don't gotta go in there, you know. But um, yeah, I'm Matt Kerkus. Thank you for watching. I got a new record called Ruby coming out on April 19th, so uh, go check it out.